Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports College Basketball here on GM Games. Uh, so, just catching you up a little bit. So, after our 3-1 and one start at home, we had the long losing streak on the away legs. We did manage to sneak past Moorhead State, and that was back in Episode 2. Episode 3, we got a couple of wins. Uh, well, we went 3-3, three and three. so... We're not doing horribly bad. Uh, let's take a look at the standings. We are three and three in the conference, four and three overall. Oh, I'm sorry, seven and ten overall. Three and seven on the road, four and three at home, three and three in the conference. Just one game behind Bucknell for the conference lead. The goal, remember, is to win ten games. And you know that should be on the dashboard, but maybe it's not. That's where it is, my office. So we, we're, our goal is to win 10 games and finish in the top three. We're only a game back of the top of the division, top of the conference division. I'm, I got division on the brain, but uh, we're only one game off the top of the conference, and we're three games away from reaching that 10 game magic mark to stay alive this year. All right, well let's get into the games for today we're going to play six more today and uh so i've recorded episode four already that has not gone up that should go up on saturday i'm recording this on tuesday so i do record these as my schedule permits and i try to stay ahead so i'm not pushed or miss you know the worst case is to miss something all right let's see so that gets us to Army, oh, big game, big game here. All right, so if we send to date. We did suffer that injury last episode. Take a look at that if you haven't seen it yet. And we did set this up. So when it pauses, that's the end of that day. But it will pause just like this for a few seconds on our game. And I think we did that back in episode two. If you want to learn how to do that, go back and check out episode two. And that'll show you how we did that in the game options. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am so far. Again, this is a journeyman save. If you have not uh, seen any of the earlier episodes on the league setup or the setup for this save, a journeyman is something we do a lot. And oh, army beat us. Oh, and they were there. They were seven and ten as well. So that means we should have been on equal footing. So that's. That's a devastating loss. That's a devastating loss. So a journeyman is where you start off as a brand new coach and then you build yourself up. You build up your skills and you advance into bigger and more prestigious jobs. So that's the goal of this. And, uh, you know, there's there's a school out there I'd probably like to end up at uh, one day. We'll see. I don't, I don't know where that would be, but, you know, you know if, you, if you guys want to guess, leave a guess in the comments and, uh, you know, we can go from there. All right, so Navy, we ended up with uh, three guys in double digits. McCray had 15 points, uh, three boards, 14 points, and seven boards for Austin. He had a really good game. Ten points for Welch, but everybody was in the negatives as we got dominated. They got 12 off the bench from Gomes. We got nine from Butler and six from Skiffer. Skiffer so... I don't know. Let's see. Three-point shooting, 47% from the floor, 45% from behind the arc, and 86%. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we should not dial up. Let's take a look at the roster because I'm, I'm wondering here. That's free throws. Jumpers. It does not dip. Jumpers would be from long range. So I think we've got a pretty solid three-point. So how do we... Tell you what, let's go into the help option. And help guide. Creating a new association. I just want to see if there's anything... That's setting up your coach strategy all right multiplayer 
I don't see anything in there. All right, what I was looking for was to see if there was anything on how to set for more three-point usage. There's a, there's a competing game. It's an older game, so not really competing. That's, that's fraudulent. It was released in 2010. And in their setup on this screen or, or the screen like this, you actually had a three-point usage and it, you know you could dial 30 percent 40 percent 100 percent um or or it, it was either that or it was a percentage scale for shoot inside shoot outside and outside included three points so let's go let's go heavy outside that's that may be the only way to do that all right we did pick up a couple of emails we got a visit Didn't think it was worthwhile. That's fine. And must be at a new week here. So we do have Nolan still declining our visit. Ouch. Defense. I'm going to stay after these guys. He's a C. He's a B. Let's go ahead and scout him live. And another B and a small forward. I'm really hoping to land Nolan, but I we've moved up to fourth. Okay. So we were fifth. We've moved up to fourth. He's the guy I hope we get. But what I'm fearful of is he's going to sign elsewhere, and then we're going to also lose out on some of these other guys. Peterson. See, Peterson, we're not even in the mix. Not yet. You know what? Let's call him up. Doesn't hurt. Come on, man. You think a player would really just hang up on a coach? I mean, just hang up on him? All right, well, I think we've played around with him all we can today. All right, there's our next game. So let's get to that. All right, we should have our game here today. Fingers crossed. Oh, 12 point loss to Bucknell. They were the ones top of the top of the league, top of the conference. Gonzaga, shout out to my friend Danny Z. He's a big Zags fan. All right. So we actually led at the half and then got destroyed in the second half. All right, only one scorer in double digits completely. And we were <clears throat> 2 of 14 from behind the arc. All right, so I think we certainly saw. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to balanced. We'll try that out. Yeah, I, I need to I need to see about figuring out how to do the strategy to dial in for your strengths. Cause that should be something you can do. That's the second time I've seen Myron Braddock with Chicago State pop up on the little board there. Six and six. I really wonder if, if these Sims have to do every day because I'm sure that takes up a lot of processing, memory and stuff, and the time. Oh, God, dog it. 18-point loss. All right, I'm, I'm running out of ideas, fellas. All right, so let's see. Again, oh, God, our whole backcourt only didn't score at all. Wow. We got 12 and 19 off the bench. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, let's go to our depth chart. Uh, I'm going to ask the AI to suggest just to see if we need to tweak some guys around. We've got a sprained finger. He still has the broken foot. He is He's done for the season. All right, so we should be good there. Strategy. They do not have a AI suggest here. A high post. Let's see, the flex is what? Yeah, I don't have that, so I don't want to run that for sure. 
All right, a few more emails. All right, the top 30 candidates given out. I'm guessing we don't have anybody in there, but there's the list if you are so inclined to look at that. All right. All right, we play American in our next match. We win by three. Man, we were in dire need of that victory. All right, a three-point win gets us number eight on the season, and we've got, what, eight games left in the season to get two more wins? Hopefully, hopefully. All right, let's take a look at how this worked out. 18 from Austin, 11 from McCray. 18 and 14 for Austin, player of the game. He looked really good. We got dominated in the paint. We got no fast break points. Remember in the early season we were dominating that category? I wonder if defensive strategy. All right, let's take a look at this. So man-to-man, -man, two, three zone. We might want to try that. I don't think we have the ability to press. 3-2. Less pressure at the top of the key. So they're dominating us inside. So I'm going to drop this to 70. And we'll put 20 points in there. And that may... Where's the 2-3? All right. Tell you what, I'm going to drop this down to 50. Let's raise that to 25 and that to 25. And that'll, so we'll run double zones. See if that helps close down some of the paint scoring. Because again, we're not too good defensively. And I want to go back to favoring outside just because most of our guys are better outside shooters. So to me, that makes sense that that's what you should want to do, which means it's probably wrong because <laughs> that's usually how that works. All right, well, we'll be back for uh, game day here in a second. All right, game day. We're at home against Lafayette. They're 6-15. and 15. We're 8-13. and 13. They are a game better than us in the conference. And we pull it off by 12. That's a huge win. Number nine on the season. One game away from the magic mark. All right, let's look at the box score on that one. Maybe there will be something to actually look at. Now, let's see. So here we go. Fast break points. We cut down on theirs. We got more. And we actually got some points in the paint. All right, I feel a little bit better. 13 points, 14 points, respectively, Austin and McCray. Skiffer with 11, Butler with 10 off the bench. The bench looked really strong. Looked really strong there. Anybody with big boards? We had six by two players. Street had eight. Austin, player of the game for us with 13 points, four rebounds. I'm guessing his rebounding is not too good. All right, there's some scouting reports. All right, let's check out our dashboard for our schedule. All right, so we've got one game left today with at Boston University, and then there's our run-in home games with Loyola of Maryland, Colgate on the road against Lehigh, back home against Army, Last road game against Bucknell, and we end the season with Holy Cross. So we'll go ahead and play the game before we look at the final conference standings for this week or for this episode. I really don't like the newer East Carolina logo. I lived in Greenville for a couple of years, and uh, they had the old cartoon pirate, and I liked that one a lot more. All right, we're playing uh, Boston University. Let's take a look at our roster. All right, Douglas is the only one with the broken foot. All right, we'll take a look. We'll just readjust the roster, and we'll play out the day. Ah, Nine-point loss to the Terriers. They're 13-8 and eight on the season. 
Man, I wish I was them. <laughs> 9 and 14. Six games left to go. Can we get one win? More importantly, where are we at in the league? We are next to last at 5 and 7. We're only two games behind second place, but I don't think we're going to finish there. I think what I need to do between this episode and the next one is go try to learn as much as I can about setting the strategy, and then we'll see if any of the information I learn works. Uh, and if it does, then I can share that with you guys. All right, well, we sit 5-7 and seven in the conference. We are 9-14 and 14 overall. 4-6 and six in our last 10. Nobody's got a you know, two-game win streak, so, I mean, anybody can beat anybody. 12-0 and 0 at home for Holy Cross, and that's who we end the season with, right? But we play them at home, so that's good. And they are 3-8 and eight on the road, so that's great. So in basketball, it's always been you should win your home games and then try to break even 500 on your away games because you're going to lose more. But if we look at that, we are above 500 at home, but we're just getting decimated on the road. And 14 road games to nine home games. One of the prices of being a small team, I guess, small program, is you end up traveling more. I say that, but Boston has 12 and 11, 12 and 11, 9 and 14, so Bucknell's in our neighborhood, 8 and 16, Colgate's in our neighborhood, 13 and 10, 12 and 11. Boy, the Army has not won on the road all season. Give it time, boys. You play us uh, next episode right there. So you'll probably get your first win. <laughs> All right. Any emails? Nothing. Recruiting. We've done everything we can, I believe. Guys, I think that's it for this episode. We will be back for the last episode of this season, and we will sew everything up. Let's take a quick look at here. Dates. That's recruiting. That's not what I want. There was another calendar somewhere. Key dates. That's it. All right. So conference tournaments start March 5th. And recruiting. See, I don't know why they don't have this all on the same calendar. You could use key dates for something else. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Or still show that in the in the calendar that you go, or go to from the recruiting screen, but I'm looking. So we go to conference tournaments March 5th, and they will not sign until April 9th. Wow, that's crazy. All right, guys, we'll hit that like button. Subscribe to GM Games. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you don't mind. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.